this is going to be a little uh, tutorial slash review of Idea Maker. Um, it's a slicer, fairly new. The big thing is it's very similar to Simplify 3D without the cost of Simplify 3D. Um, sorry if this sounds bad. Um, my printer's running away over here in the background. But uh, we'll go to the computer in a moment and go over some of the differences, how good it is, my uh, thoughts, and you know how it works. So let's go over the computer. Uh, it was a month or two ago. Angus at Maker's Muse did a quick review, big three free slicers. Um, one of them was this puppy right here. This is Idea Maker. It's made by Ray's 3D. Now, it's a free slicer. Uh, just like Cura and Slick 3R or Slicer is. Uh, but it has one major advantage, very similar to Simplify 3D. And it's free. And you can set it up, a little work, to use with any printer out there. Now the first thing you need to do is set up for your printer. Printer off. You can actually go right to the configure wizard. I have a heated bed or an extruder. Finish. Now my printer is pretty much set up. Now, you really want to go in there and uh, fine tune it. You can change your baud rate. You can change your PLA type. You can change your nozzle size, your build width, your build depth, your build height. You can actually, if you're not into the firmware and you think you're under or over extruding, you can change your E-steps here for your extruder. You can also do the same thing. You can compensate for your X and Y um, right here. The other thing is your filament settings. Now you can add filaments. Um, The diameter is 1.75. You go in, I have no idea what the density is. It was 22 bucks. And my flow weight will be 100. And that's it. Now, the first thing you gotta do, obviously, is add a file. I'm just gonna do this very simply. Now, the interface, this basic area right here, it's really good. Um, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, in some ways, it's very similar to Simplify 3D. In other ways, I find it almost easier. Um, the whole window way Simplify 3D works, especially like in the rotates and everything, um, it's kind of odd. You got to go in and out of it, and it just it seems weird. Um, with this, it's a lot easier, I find. Now, the big, big thing that takes us away from, say, Slicer, Slick 3R, or Cura is right here, Supports. This has very similar to the uh, Simplify 3D manual supports. And, I mean, it's almost exactly the same the way it works. And you just position them and click. And that's it. You can put them all around. You can create automatic ones. You can remove some if you want. Make it bridge in the middle. You can add some. I find this very weird sometimes, but and you can edit them. This is nice. Clear them all. I find this really nice. 
saves plastic, you can do a lot better uh, support systems than sometimes it automatically applies. It's auto apply, um, it's auto supports, it's actually pretty good. It's one of the better ones I found. It works really well. They remove really well. Now, when you go to slice, you can hit, uh, I don't know, one of these up here or the start. I just hit the start, which is kind of weird. You'd, I'd rather say slice right here, whatever. Choose your printer, whatever you want. Where's my printer? There it is. I'll use my max mic on. Actually, you know what, I won't. Let's go to a new printer. Now, the problem is, this is weird right here. The first time you open this, you have no anything. You either have to input or duplicate. See, and there's just, it, it's like weird the first time you use it. And I'm not, it's always been weird now. What I did the first time here is duplicate, go to one of your raised 3Ds, make it my new filament. Then go in and tell it what your, you know, normal settings would be. Three, I don't like a raft, I don't like a skirt, supports all. Go into your advanced, adjust everything according to what you would normally have. You know, hit OK, and then hit OK. Now, once you have this filament, you can keep duplicating it from there. This first one, importing it, is just, it's really odd to me. And again, you can go in, you know, you don't even have to do all the settings before you, you duplicate it. You, you can change them afterwards. It, it's just not a big deal. Um, but getting that first one in, I found really kind of strange. Um, j just because I didn't, it took me like a half an hour to figure out how to get one in here the first time. It's kind of stupid. But now you can, you know, go in and duplicate it, edit it. And you just keep adding more and more and more. If you have, you know, eight or ten different kinds of filament or whatever you're using, you just duplicate it, rename it, keep re-going. I find that really weird. The other thing I find really weird is this window right here. Now you slice it. It's a really decent speed slicer. It doesn't take long. Granted, this is a small model. Um, but this window here is kind of odd to me. And here's the thing, you can preview, which is nice. The preview's a little slow drawing, oops. But it works, I mean, it's, it's all right. And you can zoom in and out and view it, and you know, you can see only the current layer, which I find is absolutely the best way to do it. But anyways, uh, it always goes back to this window. Now, I can export it, upload it, whatever. It was successfully exported, but it goes back to this window again. This window should go away. It's a minor thing. It's a very minor thing, but it annoys me. <laughs> um, you can't even quit. You can't do anything. It won't let you out. Other than that, this thing prints. The, the files coming out of it print really, really well. Um, I have no problems with anything so far coming out of it. Uh, the prints have been fabulous. Right on par with any of the other slicers, if not better than some of them. Um, it's just a good slicer. Uh, if you can get past the few quirky little things in the interface and the way it starts up, it, it, it's just a good, quick, slices quick, nice interface, looks good, works well. Everything's good about it. Um, I would probably use it exclusively if it weren't for one or two things that I like with Cura. It's a minor thing in general terms of slicers. Uh, if you're looking for a good slicer, you don't want to shell out the money for Simplify 3D. The only thing you're looking for in Simplify 3D are these custom supports. Look at Idea Maker. It's a great slicer, works well, um, is a little quirky. Get past it, you'll be happy you did. And that's probably it. That's my review of Idea Maker. Um, I highly recommend everyone at least go try it. I doubt everyone's going to love it. 
but most people will, um, especially for free, <laughs> you're just not going to beat it in general terms.